Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this uh, Hormel square table meal. This one is the slow simmered beef roast au jus and savory sauce. It's caramel color is added, premium beef, fresh, never frozen. Um, 27 grams per serving of protein. Uh, BPA free tray. Okay, it's 15 ounces or 425 grams. It's a refrigerated meal. It's not frozen. It's refrigerated. We found it at Walmart. It was $7.54. But it's made to be an entree, like you have it for dinner. Um, of course, I'm eating it for lunch, but it's made to be made for dinner. Oh, that's how they're that's how they're sold. So there are three servings per container, five ounces, uh, 140 grams is 210 calories. You eat the whole container for 640 calories. And there's the other info for you. So to make this, this is giving you some options of things you just some things you might not have thought of. That that beef, that French dip sub looks really really good. Um, all right, so you can heat up in the stovetop. Basically, just put it in a pan and heat it up, or you can do it in the microwave, which is what we're going to do. We're going to remove the outer sleeve and place the vacuum seal tray in microwave. Do not pierce or vent because it'll bubble up really big. Um, heat on high for three to four minutes. I usually do three and a half or until the self ending film um, expands and it heats and forms a bubble, lock in flavor. What happens is the bubble will get really big. It'll get really big and, and um, big old bubble and then it'll go and then it'll flatten out a little bit. It won't go away completely. It'll always have a bubble, but it, it'll kind of vent itself. So here's what it looks like. It looks pretty decent. So I'm going to get this in the microwave. Uh, when you take it out, just be careful because it is, um, you get steam coming out of wherever it opened and it's really, really hot. So I'll be right back. All right. So here it is out of the microwave and um, be careful taking this plastic piece off the top too, because you can see we're vented right there, but this is really stuck on and sealed well, which is a good thing, I guess, but it is just, you can really uh, spill things and, and make a mess if you're not really careful. So I'm going to take this off and put it on a plate and with some of the juice. So let me move this out of the way. All right, what I wanna do is I wanna pull it apart for you. See how tender it is. Oh yeah, it pulls literally right apart with a fork. You can see how tender that meat is. And then uh, I'll probably pour some of the juice on top just to have, um, just have it on my plate. Oh yeah. Yeah, that would make a really good French dip because you could take um, this and make a sandwich out of it and then take the juice and put it in a bowl or just leave it in here and dip your bread and your and your and the sandwich into it. Uh, that would be really, really good. So I am going to take this over the table and I'll be back. All right, so I didn't let it set. I literally just set the camera up. So here we go. It's probably gonna be very hot. That tastes like a just a really nice uh, roast is what it tastes like the 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 juice is uh, the gravy the au jus um, it is it tastes like the the juices from the meat itself um, cooked down into a really um, strong gravy the meat itself is good and tender um, this is not these are the leaner pieces. I don't see a lot of fatty pieces, and that's a good thing if you like um, a leaner meat. I like the little um, fatty pieces of roast myself. I like the fatty um, texture and the flavor. But um, if you don't like the fatty pieces, you're in good you're in, you're in good shape because there's no fatty pieces on here. It's all this really lean meat. I won't say lean. There's no hunks of fat in it. Yeah, it's really good and tender. I guess um, I guess they're seasoning it more towards a larger group, so the seasonings aren't really strong. It's really just the the juices from the meat, basically, and the roast, the roast, and then the roast itself, the meaty flavor of the roast. You don't get um, any like garlic or onion or or anything like that really coming through. Even salt and pepper, it doesn't seem to be very salty or, or peppered. Um, it is good. It's a little plain. You'll probably want to add your own seasoning to this. That's for sure something you'd want to do. And if you're having it for lunch, you could just eat it by itself 100%. You'd be fine. If you're having it for dinner, like an entree, you probably want to add 
Um, you can get these uh, microwavable meals in like macaroni and cheese and mashed potatoes and all kinds of different stuff. Um, you probably want to add something to it and split this between like two. You could probably stretch it to three people. They're saying three servings. Three would be, each person would get a pretty small amount of roast. I mean, like literally probably that big around. Um, so you, three people are going to have a smaller amount, but if you have a side or a salad or something like that, um, that'd probably be enough. But just know um, for, if you're eating like me, um, probably half of this and a side would be really good. So I'm going to give this one a three out of five. I don't dislike it. I just think they could have bumped the seasoning up a little bit more. Like I said, I think they're kind of um, seasoning for the masses, so to speak, and not really uh, putting a lot of seasoning in there because they could have definitely put some onion, um, onion, sliced onion in here and cooked that. That would have been really good. Um, you know, something like that. But anyway, hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.